61 degrees right now at Epley. Mainly clear. That dew point's 53, so it's comfortable outside right now. Winds at about 15 miles an hour out of the south and southeast. Look over in Council Bluffs, 55 degrees at the airport there, upper 50s toward Plattsmouth, Gretna, Louisville, 60 in Fremont this morning. So getting kids out to the bus stop. Again, maybe long sleeve shirts and some of the younger kids, cool and dry with upper 50s by 7 o'clock, mostly sunny, but still pretty comfortable out there. Later this afternoon, really nice weather, 82 degrees by 3 o'clock, a few clouds. It will be breezy and pretty warm. Our average high, 81. I think we'll get up to 83 later this afternoon. Super Doppler 7 radar around the area is quiet, but just off to our north, you see showers and thunderstorms still working their way into far northeastern Nebraska. They're getting close to Stanton and Cumming counties off to our north. The northern parts of our viewing area, especially in western Iowa, could see a stray shower or thunderstorm later on this morning. Omaha, I'm expecting a dry forecast. Just a couple more midday clouds, or I'll say mid morning clouds, as those storms push through. But here are the two storm systems we're watching for the middle of this week. Area of low pressure strengthening from the southwest, a big cold front, very strong cold front across southern and western Canada right now. Those are going to combine across the middle of the country to first bring us showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, and then a big cool down by the end of the week. On Storm Predictor this morning, you can see those clouds, maybe a stray shower or thunderstorm across parts of western Iowa. Mostly sunny by noon, low to mid 70s, not too bad by the middle of the day. South winds might gust as high as 25 to 30 miles an hour into the afternoon. A few daytime heating cumulus clouds, a really nice day. Temperatures in the upper 70s, near 80 in western Iowa, low to mid 80s in eastern Nebraska. Now, by this evening, it might feel just a touch muggy with dew points getting into the low and mid 60s, but not too bad going into the evening. A few clouds around, low 70s by 10 o'clock tonight. Here's where things start to get a little wild. Overnight, warm front lifting through, a few more clouds, starts to get pretty humid as well. By tomorrow, maybe an isolated shower or thunderstorm at noon, but the best chance for showers and thunderstorms comes in late into the afternoon along the warm front. And then as the cold front comes through here into the evening, we could see a second round of showers and thunderstorms. Both rounds could potentially be strong or severe. The Storm Prediction Center has us in a slight risk of severe weather tomorrow. Again, this is tomorrow. Damaging winds, large hail, and yes, isolated tornadoes are possible tomorrow afternoon and evening and heavy rainfall as we go through the overnight hours. So stay up to date with the latest for that. Keep following us on Twitter and on Facebook and check in with Bill later on today at 5, 6, and 10. But behind that, look at those temperatures drop. 65 on Wednesday, 58 Thursday, 59 on Friday, and by the end of the week, morning lows around 40 degrees in the metro.